musings and other nonsense, whimsical stories, poems, and songs for children. Written and read by Peter G. Reynolds. That's me. Your support allows us to bring you quality stories each week. Please visit buymeacoffee.com slash musings to donate and help cover our production costs. This episode is called Mess Monster. There's a door in my room that's always shut tight, for what lies inside will give you a fright. It's something I created, so I must confess, it's a giant, ferocious, hungry mess. When Mother would ask if I cleaned my room, I'd always say, yes, I'll do it real soon. And when she would check, it would always be clean. Not a single piece of mess could ever be seen. But I never ever cleaned up my pigsty. I said that I did, but that was a lie. Inside my closet, my mess would hide, and each day I'd throw more stuff inside. It started quite small many years ago. I fed it dirty clothes, and it started to grow. Then books I had read, toys I'd forgot. It liked those things, and it liked them a lot. And over the years, my mess has grown, and now it has a mind of its own. So the door stays closed each and every hour, or the mess would have the whole world to devour. Then one day it happened. The closet door burst. I tried to get out, but it grabbed my leg first. It pulled me in. It was hungry, you see. It needed more mess, and it wanted me. It slowly pulled me across the room. I had to be quick and think of something real soon. I tore off a book that was part of itself and placed it neatly on a bookshelf. Then I grabbed some socks that smelled quite vile and folded them together in a neat little pile. The mess was scared and said, No, not today. But I just kept putting my things away. We fought for many hours, but I would not yield. Being neat was my sword, being tidy was my shield. Then finally, I won. My mess was gone. My room was clean, but wait, hang on. What's that poking out from under my bed? An old juice box and a crust of bread? I should clean it up, but why obsess? There's no need to worry. It's just a little mess. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please check out my picture book, Lost Hallway, now available on Amazon. It's a magical tale of a young boy who finds a world that contains all lost things. You can learn more at storiesbypeter.com. See you next time.